Right here in the tower, so close to the bridge. Hide in the cart and off we goes. But we can't do that yet, can we? Not without a friendly driver. And we see no friendly faces here. <laughs> yes, that's it. Just like the ones at her door. Now free the shelf and get it out, out of our head. First, we must get out of these rooms. We found it. See? I believed in you. You're like Beren, stealing the gem from the enemy's crown. Though I'm no Luthien and Beren had a pleasant voice. Come back down here. What's going on? What's going on? Therefore, I tell you, I don't know. And what I don't know, I cannot tell. I know you well enough to doubt that, my old friend. My king, if you knew me well enough, you would never doubt me. We can talk candidly now. No more eluding my questions. I must know. And I'm telling you that I cannot tell you what I don't know. <laughs> Another excuse. I'd call it a fact. So then you would not mind if I had that creature drowned in the river? I would mind. And I need you to trust me. Maybe I would, if you'd stop being vague. Aragorn, the greatest hunter of all, so they say, travels a thousand miles to catch a creature that may best be described as odd. A creature the Dark Lord himself has touched and tortured. Oh, don't act surprised, my friend. I sensed his craving in him, his obsession. And now, Gandalf the Grey makes his rare visit to my realm. Now I wonder why. What secret does this creature hold? What knowledge? I have long had dreams. Dreams that warn me of a weapon. One that the Dark Lord craves. Your silence tells me that I'm right. I would hide it in my vault, Gandalf, behind my magic doors. Keep it safe. Keep what safe? Don't treat me like one of your dwarf friends. I would never use it, of course. Whatever it is, just keep it. Keep it hidden. Keep what hidden? Do you doubt our strength? 
My borders are safer now than those of Lorien. Your haze, you mean? No. Yeah. I felt its powers when I entered. Beg your pardon, my king, but your realm is an island in the darkness, and your crown is made of leaves. It was here in Mirkwood where it took shape again. Sauron's shadow. Don't utter his name. Oh, I shall utter it freely now. Sauron, the Dark Lord, growing in power right on your doorstep. And you didn't see. The White Council freed Mirkwood from a necromancer. Not King Thranduil and his people. The White Council. It was my people who bled. Thousands of years ago, on the hills of the Moranon. You don't teach history to me, wizard. I don't need your wisdom to find the truth. Are you done, my king? I am. You can go back to your dwarves now. 